guys, welcome to today's video. Today we got another tension game here. So, so we are playing a Roadrunner and Coyote game. We pick up this. Yeah, sorry, we pick up the seeds. Yeah, they just jump you right into this game too, don't they? Whoa! Alright, so we got rocket skates on and he almost caught us for a little bit there. Alright, so now they're adding more uh, stuff. The acne truck. Oh, he got us. Whoa! Boy, as soon as he gets that, those things, that gets a little rough. There we go. Oof. Oh, this is not going to go well. <laughs> Is there a point to this? Like, all right, there it is. End of level one. Miss four bird seeds. Oh, oh he got us. He got us. I thought that was gonna be a negative, but it kind of wasn't, was it? Ah. Oh no, there's not a whole lot to say about the game. Like, it's very basic. There's not, whoa, a whole lot to be said. It does follow the cartoon pretty well. It is kind of fun that they have him getting his, uh, all of the, the little silly things that he normally does, the rocket and the skates and everything. It's, it's a pretty boring game to be completely honest. Like, it does have that little nostalgia, the little silliness to it, but other than that, like, the game is, uh... Alrighty then. The game is fairly, like, it's straightforward, but it's also kind of boring, to be honest. Ah. And while it is somewhat um, avoidable, some of the stuff is feels almost non-avoidable. Ah. Like, you do, you, the controls are pretty well, but it seems like the walls on a lot of, some of these corners and stuff, aren't very well defined and have you getting kind of stuck and then when he comes out of there in front of you you there's really nothing you can do about that one you're kind of sol on that one ah uh. That's kind of rough. All right, we're just gonna we're just gonna bypass all the the, the seeds. Ah, yeah. Like, like I said, some of this you can't go back. Also, so let's see. There's a thing there. It's almost kind of like you're playing Pac-Man to a point. 
Ah. But yeah, the controls are like you you run into the walls and like we've we ran over the seed like multiple times picking where it, how it picks up and everything is a little bit of an issue. Ah. Yeah, for some reason going at like all these uh jets and jags and everything don't make well for actually maneuverability and the hitbox for picking up the seeds mm, is a little rough. Ah, we can't go back. Mm. Yeah, that I think that also that is my biggest issue I have with the game is picking up the bird seed is so like I, I see it. it 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 has a little bit of a of a of kind of a of a, a smidgen of fun with the nostalgia but all in all it's not really an overly well, it's not an overly fun game. It's a pretty... Just... It's the same thing over and over again. Shortcut to level 3. So I guess when we start, it's kind of like continuing. The shortcut is open and it gets you back to where you were. It feels a lot like it's kind of Pac-Man where we keep going in all these uh, dead ends and then yeah we get caught. That kind of starts losing fun real quick because of the controls where he it does not move well around a lot of these corners. And then, yeah, like, getting hit in those little things where sometimes he'll miss you and sometimes you'll get hit. At least they're running out faster. Oh, we got, we got toasted. Oh wow, so now we're gonna have... So I mean, it's all the same, which of course you kind of expect, with just the random different kinds of... Uh... Whoa! He got us. He got us! Serpentine, baby! Serpentine! <laughs> Good lord, this one's lasting forever! Ah, he, 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 he saw where we were going on that one. You do get to the point where you're like getting kind of 
Oh, you can jump. Okay, that's where the jumping comes in. That's where the... <laughs> I thought he was just going to go over. He didn't. Hey, we came in on 10th there. So I'm guessing we're going to go back. Yeah, shortcut. Bonus life awarded. We get to do this again. We'll do a little bit more. Like, yeah, it's not overly fun, but it kind of is. And it has this, like... It does have a Pac-Man-ish kind of quality to it where you want to do more and you're like, you get kind of into it where you're like, just... Uh, uh. Where it's very basic, very simple. There's not a whole lot of gameplay. There's a couple things to be desired on it. We are doing better on picking uh, the bird seat up now. I don't know what it is about one of the other levels that made it like really bad but we are actually doing a lot better on picking it up pretty easily there are still a couple times where oh come on that's disappointing we were doing so good I jumped that. What in the ever loving? All right, jumping sucks on this game. Wow, that is, I don't even want to do that again. Like, to be honest, that was just bad. The jumping does not work very well at all. Like, all right, I get it. So the, the wall kind of uh, boxes, the invisible wall, so to speak, when you're doing the corners and how they have it programmed, it, it, it kind of sucks in that one level where you're trying to maneuver around very tight things. It does not work very well. The hit boxes where you're picking up the bird seed is very small. Like there's sometimes you can get in the groove and pick them up pretty well, but sometimes you're walking over it three or four times and getting nothing out of it. And then... Um, that, that, okay, we're overlooking it, we're moving on. The game is kind of redundant. It's fun, it has, it has the little things, but it, for the most part, like, it really is overly basic and the same thing over and over again. But then you put in that jumping like that, and you, it, it, it like, the jumping sucked so bad. As you can see, we tried to jump four times, and it, we barely finally got there, and it was very disappointing. But, um... You know, it, it's got a little fun nostalgia thing going. We didn't even see any of that going. But it has a fun nostalgia. It definitely has the the feel and the soul of the cartoon. Because, I mean, honestly, the cartoon is just as basic as this game is. It's kind of the same thing over and over again. It was silly. It was fun when you were a kid. If you watch it now, it's pretty like, okay, how many times are we going to do this? But, um, so the game really has the heart and soul of the cartoon, to be completely honest. Like, it really does have that feel with, you know, him getting his, all of his little Acme things going on and, and all the different things to try to catch you. I mean, it, it's fun for a few minutes. It has some nostalgia. But the more you play it, the more it just, it, it, that, that kind of just rubs off and you're just, like, playing a very repetitive, somewhat fun, but also kind of boring game. Like, they didn't put a whole lot into it. Like, the levels, they, they do change a little bit, but it's still kind of the street, or the road, which, of course, is ba the cartoon. So we can't really say anything negative about that because that's where most everything takes place anyways. It is a road runner, so we can't expect much other than the road. But the, the backdrops and everything are kind of... They do better than a lot of games where they have it very boring and... Uh, like everything on a pattern where it's like well, wow we suck we just got whooped right out the gate but um so we don't have quite the same just repetitiveness of the backdrop as we do on a lot of games but it is kind of there so the scenery starts to become kind of boring although with this kind of game that's not overly a big deal because you're not looking at the top very much. With as much going on and trying to avoid and picking up things and all this stuff, 
that, uh... Uh, see, like the, the hitbox on some of these you, really is a little mu rough, but... Whoa! We got hit by the truck. We got hit by the truck again. Oh, no, we, we just got... We got clipped. We didn't get hit. We got clipped. Son of... Wow! Again! <laughs> that is bad. We sucked very much here. But as you can see, like... You don't really notice the backdrop as much. Good thing that didn't last too long. But all in all, it's it's a pretty basic, pretty boring. We we got all the bird seats. We got some serious points there. I mean, it has a little bit of a draw to it. It has a little bit of a... I think this level for me is one of the worst ones. Just given how difficult it is to quickly and avoid stuff like that and to, to move around. But um, if you are a fan of the cartoon at all, then I definitely say give it a... Give it a play. I think you'll you'll find that it's just nostalgic enough to be fun. At least, like I said, for a little while. It's definitely not going to keep you uh, entertained for an extended period of time. By any means. Yeah, we walked right over the one and just nothing, huh? And sometimes the coyote, like... I think to a point it does a little bit where it knows exactly where you're going and what you're doing. It does the whole, uh, ah, we ran into him on that one. But uh, control reading, uh, a couple of times I've noticed that where I go to change direction and the moment I do they know exactly where I'm heading and I felt that a few times. I think it's to keep it a little more challenging. Uh, it was a couple of times in the uh, dynamite and stuff like that. But um, all in all, it's it's a decently done game. For a Tengen game, uh, it's surprisingly good. But for an overall game, I think it's very lacking. Uh, controls are fairly solid, even though you have the pathing issues in some of the more uh, tight corners and everything, you do have that pathing problem. But other than that, like it really does function pretty well. Uh, the jumping is the one thing I think definitely is a uh, is a definite problem in the game but with that being said guys that was roadrunner you have a good day we'll see you later